Hello, and welcome to the 2024 NAJ General Meeting Overview. My name is Teresa Barnard, and I'm your NAJ President. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about me and my family. I grew up in Indiana and went to school at Indiana University in Bloomington. After graduating, I married my wonderful husband, Tim, and I started my coaching career in Ohio. Three and a half years later, we relocated to Southern California. I have continued to coach and judge in Region 1 while raising our two sons. My oldest, Dakota, is a graduate of Baylor University, and my youngest, Drew, is a sophomore at the University of Tennessee. I love the sport of gymnastics, the people I've been able to meet, the places I've been able to go, and the athletes that have allowed me to be part of their journey. I am honored to serve as your NAJ president for the next four years. I'd like to introduce our executive officers, which are part of our NAJ board of directors. The president, myself, Vice President Ann Hefner, Director of Finance Robin Rugg, Secretary Denise Green. The Board of Directors, along with the Executive Officers, met in St. Louis July 9th through the 11th, and then with our SJDs in person July 11th through the 13th. The Board of Directors also includes our Regional Judging Directors, Region 1, April Brandon, Region 2, Priscilla Hickey, Region 3, Marilyn Bliley, Region 4, Robin Smith, Region 5, Deb Campbell, Region 6, Jim Burton, Region 7, Bonnie Sinnell. Region 8, Diane Thompson. Our at-large directors are National Judges Cup Director, Evelyn Paradis, National Historian Director, Gina Fuller, National Website Director, Brenda Eberhardt, National Education Director, Tammy Parsons, National Library and Tech Services Director, Maureen Blair, and National Collegian Assigner, Jenna Carabell. Along with the duties of each office, each board member is active on two to three committees. If you'd like a list of these committees or the members, please check out the National Board of Directors tab on our website. If you scroll down, you will see the committees and the members listed. A quick overview of what happened in our 2023-2024 season by the numbers. NAJ has 2,234 members, an increase of 59 members. We provided judges for over 2,959 meets, including 389 collegiate meets. We made 20,872 assignments, including 2,399 collegiate competitions. Our YouTube channel had over 2,265 subscribers. At NAJ, our mission is education and service, and in the 2023-2024 season, that was well on display. Our education committee did 44 rapid reviews for development levels and XL divisions, 11 online national clinics with over 2,991 participants. We did over 100 clinics at the state and regional levels. We digitized the Jackie Phi videos for judges training events at World Championships and Olympics to be used for future purposes. Our YouTube channel had over 300,000 views this year. We also developed a quarterly RGD newsletter, keeping our members updated. Our education committee will be hard at work updating the 44 rapid reviews for the 2024-25 season and working to also change any of the eight practice routines with updated rules. Our fall clinics utilized over 55 judges from across the country. Our winter clinics utilized over 100 judges from all over the country. Together, we can achieve so much. The education was twofold, helping people learn to be better clinicians and helping all of us become better judges. We had elections in the 2024 season. Our even number region's new SJDs and co-SJDs took office May 15th. Our ongoing election for state committees in the even states was happening this summer, and those have all concluded. As you know, we did have a slight issue with some of uh, the voting procedures, and we took those offline and handled that, and everything turned out great. And all our members have taken office. NASH continues to be in great financial shape, but we're taking a look at our banking practices over the next few years to try to get them all in line. With term limits, it's getting increasingly more difficult to transition our accounts, and we need to work on that. But if you want to look at our financials or have any questions about what's going on, you can follow this QR code to see our tax returns or any other financial information you're interested in. Our National Judges Cup took place in Chicago, Illinois this year. There were a lot of kids very excited from Southern California and other areas that got to see snow while we were at the Judges' Cup. We had over 90 volunteers from 25 states, 40 volunteers from Region 5 alone. 15 teams competed for the Patty J. Shipman Level 7 Team Challenge. Texas won first place, and second place went to Southern California, and third place to Maryland. Just a very enjoyable competition, and I know our SJDs and everybody gets very excited, and you get to see people year after year that 
that's the only chance you get to see them. So it's a great time to get together. I particularly enjoyed visiting with Bonnie from Texas and getting to watch her team win. So we hope to see all of you out there in the coming National Judges Cups. As I stated before, please come join us for the camaraderie and sense of community that is the National Judges Cup, the wonderful, fun, competitive spirit of the Patty J. Shipman session. Here's the QR code if you're interested in joining us. The 2025 National Judges Cup will be hosted in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, January 3rd through the 5th. We will be co-hosting it with American Twisters and USAG competitions. If you're at all interested, please sign up to come. The 2026 National Judges Cup will be in Anaheim, California at the Marriott Convention Center. It will be co-hosted with Fallbrook Gymnastics. We're looking forward to having some fun right across the street from Disneyland. We will also be getting the request for projects for the 2027 Judges Cup. It will go out in February of 2025. Naj likes to honor and spotlight our members who do great things. Every year we honor our Green Flag Award winners from our states and regionally. And every four years we have a National Green Flag Award winner, Lifetime Achievement winners, Hall of Fame winners. And throughout the season we also have request for project winners, educational projects, if you see something or feel like you want to make a project known, please let us know. Take action. Sorry, this was meant to be a video, but doesn't seem to be working. So you get a picture instead of our inaugural Green Flag Parade. This was recognizing all the winners from across the country. Start thinking about who you'd like to see in the parade in 2027. One person from every state is eligible for the Green Flag Award every year. It takes people to nominate people. Here's the Green Flag nomination form. Every four years, we select Lifetime Achievement members and Hall of Fame members. If you feel there's someone in your area or someone across the country that deserves this nomination, fill out the form and send it in to our award committee. We're working on updating the form for the 2025 season, but we would love to have people start thinking about projects to submit. Think outside the box. See what you can submit for an educational project to our national board. I'd like to take a moment to direct you to our social media guidelines, canons, and rules on our website. This is an important part of your NAJ membership, and it would be great if everyone would refresh their knowledge of them before judging season begins. We're always reviewing our bylaws and updating when needed. While I know they don't make for exciting reading, you can often find the answers to your questions in this document. Here is the QR code if you're in need of some late night reading. While we've spent our summers attending congresses, educational events, watching the Olympics, and hopefully going on a few much-needed vacations, we begin to prepare for the 2024-2025 season. I ask that you take a moment and think about the things that you do to take care of yourself during the season. We often judge four and five sessions a day, three to four days during the week, and a lot of these sessions have 96 athletes per session. It leads to long days, 14 hours in a lot of cases. We wanna make sure that we're taking care of ourselves, stretching in between sessions, maybe going for a walk, getting a good night's rest, drinking enough water, eating the right foods, and taking much needed bathroom breaks. It's easier to do if you're on vaults or bars, but if you're on beam or floor, we still need to make sure we take bathroom breaks. Just stop the equipment for a minute, run to the restroom and come back. We need to take care of ourselves. Your health matters. Keeping that in mind, Naj has a health and wellness section on our website. Perhaps refer to it. We have a lot of articles, and if you have any ideas for that website, we'd love to hear about it. Being exhausted and unable to focus while you're judging makes for a long day and a long weekend. In conclusion, I'd like to thank you for joining me for a brief overview of the 2024 general meeting. Since April, I've had the pleasure of being a part of several meetings with various gymnastics organizations. It occurred to me we all have a common purpose. Let as many people as possible know how great our sport is. My hope is over the next four years as your president, this organization can help educate and serve our community while reminding people how great our sport is and how wonderful it is to be a part of the journey of all these coaches and judges and athletes. Until next time, have a wonderful year, and I look forward to seeing you all soon.